Ah. Well, that was awkward. Here we are. Uh, it changed the default mic for some reason. For no actual reason. Anyways. We are here. Welcome, everybody. What I was saying... <laughs> What I was saying is, welcome everybody to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Um, thank you, Anthem of the World, for the very early five gift subs during the starting soon screen even. Um, rewarding the people that are here first frame. You know, always nice to see. Thank you. Uh, how's everyone doing? Today is going to be an exciting stream. Today is an exciting stream. I'm excited for it because... You guys know what we're doing today. You guys know what we're doing today. We are going to check out the new pack that dropped in Master Duel, which is particularly important because it is the last pack, the last addition to the format before Master Duel World Championships. So we shall um, look at that. Uh, I haven't looked at it in detail yet, so it's kind of going to be like a, a little bit of a blind reaction as well. I only know that Labyrinth is in there. Um, everything else, we're gonna have to see if there's any surprises in there and whatnot, but I'm excited for it. And then we're just gonna build a couple decks with the new cards, um, and, 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 and take it into ranked and see how they, how they function in the Master Duel environment. That's what we're doing. First things first, we're gonna warm up and we're also going to have a Pepe D situation because we hit the sub goal from yesterday because of those gift ups, uh, by Anthem of the World. So, uh, yeah, that sounds like a Pepe D situation. Hold up. And then we're going to warm up. Here we are. Very early Pepe D. <laughs> uh, and let me pull up the tabs for the warm up. There we go. Perfect information. This is over. Okay. Now let's guess some cards and then we hop right into Master Duel. We have here. Oh, I'm familiar with this card. However, I don't know what it's called. Very old Fire Reaper. Uh, this might be White Night Dragon. Yes. Ah, uh, we had that. That's right for... Was that March? Oh, yeah, we're learning. We're learning. Um, What is that? Okay, never seen that before. Karotten Krieger, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Muka Muka. Mm -hmm. Galaxy Serpent? No. Oh, no. Of course not. No, it's not. Light Serpent. Ah. This is a Herald card, but I'm not familiar with it. Oracle of the Herald. Uh, that's hammer shot. Uh, this is harpy girl. Yo. I don't know. Galaxy Tyranno. That you could have guessed that actually. <laughs> That was probably guessable, even without knowing the card. Um, actually, no, I'm skipping. I have no idea. I knew it was a Lavalval, but I didn't know which one. Uh, is that just Dark Magician Girl? 
The background doesn't match. It is? Does is the background yellow on or on DMG? Uh Nitro Warrior. Uh no, Gemini. Is that one of the Geminis? Feather launcher? No. I, I know the artwork. Yeah, I have seen this, but what is it? Feather riser. Uh, that is... Wait, they play that in Ad Emancipator sometimes. It's, um, yeah, Tackle Crusader. Never seen that before. Nemesis Address Stea. Uh, I was going to say Sylvan, but now that I've seen... It is Sylvan. Oh, it is a Sylvan. Um... Uh, that is Malefic Blue Eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, that is Thunder End. Yep. I do not know this one. It's Morphtronic, I think, yeah. It looks like Battery Men, but nothing that I'm familiar with. Triple A, okay. Uh, Blizzard. Does not ring a bell. Arc Jet Lightcraft. This feels familiar, but what is it? Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph? It is that. I, I don't think. I, I've seen it, but I wouldn't have recognized it, I think. Nah. Mm. Samorg Sky Battle. That artwork is dope. That is signing deal, I think. It's not go it's Gotham's, but it's not Gotham's. The co is it just Gotham's? I thought it wasn't, but I okay, no, it is. Uh, never, never mind. Uh, Chronomaly. No, wait, no, no, Mechlord. Um, it's not Granol, is it? Is it Granol? It is Granol. Okay. Uh oh I've seen this. God damn, what is that? It's 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 that uh <sighs> Drago Lich. Yeah. Um never seen that. Uh Thank God it was that. Is this just Hammer Shark? I should have just typed Hammer Shark way earlier. Yeah, obviously it was Hammer Shark. I could have gotten so much more points than that. 
Um, what is that? Calming magic. Uh, contract with Exodia. Yeah. Never seen. Uh, it's something with chain. Last with chain? No. Oh, no, it's flint. Yeah, it's flint. Uh, oh, god damn it. What is that called? It's the, it's this. Yeah, timidity. Uh, this one, I do not know. Ignite. Oh, God damn it. Floodgates. We always get the floodgates. Mm, is this... Is it... This? No. Oh, vampire orchid. No. Wait, what? It's something orchid. Something vampire. Wait, what? What is this called? Or kiss. Oh, that's one, not orchid. No, wrong one. Mm -mm. Giving me S force vibes. No, actually not. It's gravity controller. Uh oh uh, uh what is this called uh, um is this movement solo is it this yeah it is okay easy clap bounty okay performer pal stars uh Which, what is that? What is the Performer Pal Goose called? Spring Goose, right? No. Wait, no. What is it called? A coffin? Wait, what? Cheerful Coffin? Oh, Cheerful Coffin. Uh, I know this one. I've seen it, but I don't know what it's called. I have no idea what it's called. I, I have to skip it. Chaos Greed. Uh, that's Aether? Evil? Yeah. Trap Tricks. Um, Mantis? Mantis. Uh, this could be Evo Singularity? No, it's not. What is it? Evo Bridge. Uh, this is old. Is this one of those Chthonian dragons? Wait, what, how do you... Easy. None of y'all knew that. 
None of y'all knew that. I see no one typing that in chat. Uh, six samurai symbol. Uh, oh god. It's something of the six. Back to, is it back to the wall? It is. Uh. Oh, it's destruction draw. No, defense draw. Never mind. Uh, clock tower prison. Uh, Shining. I've seen this one, but I can't name it. Card Breaker. What is that? Oh, it's that claw thingy. What is it called? It's... Something claw, vicious claw, yeah. I don't know that one. DD Ghost. Oh, Glass Bell. I think. Is it Glass Bell? No, it's not. Oh, which one is it? Winter Bell? Ah, oh, ice bell. Those were the three you played, and I guess the the that one last, of course. This feels familiar. Oh wait, because it's Hayate. Dang long. Gamma Seal. Oh, come on! That did not count? I clicked it. I swear I clicked it. God damn, that would have been 800. But it wasn't, maybe it wasn't even that. Maybe it was Erupt. Again. I think it was Erupt, yeah. I think we, uh, I think we messed it up anyways. Uh, 791 is not bad. 791 is not bad. However, I still don't understand how we used to get four digit at this game sometimes. It's, I feel like we're doing okay. I feel like I'm doing fine. I don't know how I was ever better than that. Am I washed? Am I just washed? I can't even imagine. Yeah. Uh, what is the record? The record was 1200. The average has improved? That is true. My average has improved. We've got there. There was a time. I remember a time where the average, where sometimes we would get like four to five hundred. Sometimes we would get four to five hundred. We we rarely get that. We rarely get that these days. But uh, we've definitely gotten over a thousand at some point. Anyways. Level 4 Darks from back in the day, chat. Um, which of the Black Forest? Oh, it's 2002. Oh, it's, an, it's a vanilla, actually. Level 4 Dark Vanilla. Uh, level 4 Dark Vanilla from... What is that fiend called? What is that fiend called with 1300 attack? The, the green one. The green fiend. Um... Okay, I was not talking about Feralimp, but it could actually be Feralimp. Okay, it's not Feralimp. I think... I'm not... I don't mean Feralimp. I mean... Um, I mean that ghost thingy. Witty Phantom? Witty... No, that's not the one I mean. That's not the one I mean, but it could be Witty Phantom. It is Witty Phantom. Well done. I was thinking of a different one. Terra the Terrible? I think that's the one I mean. Hold up. Terra the Terrible... 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, this dude. This is, this is what I meant right now. Which could have also almost, it was almost the same, right? It was just, yeah, it would have had less, uh, less attack. Yeah, but that's the one I was thinking of. But, okay. Relatively easy one today for boomers like we are. For boomers like we are, relatively easy one. Okay. Um, like I said, warm up is done. So we're just gonna, we're about to hop straight up into Master Rule. Just one or two few things before we do. Um, I saw this thing this morning. Um, while browsing YG organization. Uh, the, just as an information for you, it's not something to really talk about for a long time, but the Japanese World Championship qualifiers are happening this weekend, which I didn't know. I didn't know that it was only this weekend. I think it's kind of crazy that they are finding out who qualifies for Worlds, like, three weeks before, which is kind of insane. But apparently this is this weekend, and it's going to be streamed. So if anyone is interested in it, I'm just going to paste you the link, uh, and you can check it out. Because it also says here that there might be new cards revealed during that stream. So if anyone here wants to watch their uh, wants to watch their qualifiers, you can you can go ahead and and do that. But uh, yeah, that is happening apparently in forty five hours is when it starts. It says here, um, in forty five hours this 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 coverage starts, and uh, apparently it's the Japanese. The Japan Championship 2023, and that's going to be streamed. So I just wanted to quickly get that out of the way. One other thing is... Um, today, there's actually a, um, a product release, chat. Actually, there's a product coming out today, which uh, have, people haven't be really been talking about. Uh, Wizknife, thank you for the three months. Appreciate you. Uh, the, uh, the Legendary Collection... Um, has already been re released like a couple months ago. And the um, now, today, as of today, the boxes are available. The boxes from, the, from, the, from, the, from those old school sets are available, uh, which is more exciting to some people than it is for others. But it's Blue Eyes, Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, Pharaoh's Servant, and Invasion of Chaos. I have one box of each. I have one box of each uh, from, of course, the amazing people over at SmartGuard. You know, shoutouts to SmartGuard. For always hooking me up with with one box of everything at release. However, the bad news is we're not going to open them. We're not going to open them <laughs> because I I want to I want to keep them sealed. I want to use them as like my stream decoration because I'm not looking for any of the cards out of it. We're not looking for any of the cards out of these, right? I th I just think my favorite part about these, honestly. As like, uh, you guys know I'm a boomer, you guys know I'm like uh, a very nostalgic kind of person. My favorite part about these boxes is how they look, how the packs look, how the boxes look. So I decided to use those as, uh, I'm going to put them somewhere behind here as like streaming decoration. And, uh, and that's like, that's the best part of these for me, you know, being able to, to have these very nostalgically looking boxes in hand. Um, whereas like the card, because we've opened these before, right? We've opened these boxes before, not these boxes, but like the packs, right? And back in the day when we opened those, it didn't feel as nostalgic. It didn't feel as great to the, the actual cards, right? The actual cards didn't feel as, uh, as nostalgic to me. Whereas like the packs and the boxes really did. So I'm going to keep them sealed because that's the way I like them the most. And I'm going to use them as a little stream background decoration. Uh, and that's going to be cool. Just a quick, still wanted to give a shout out to SmartGuard for, you know, providing these because they, I think they're still awesome. But uh, just, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to be opening them on stream just so you guys know what's going on there. All right. Don't know if I'm more mad or sad. Well, I mean... It's fine, right? We have we have the Duelist Nexus coming up soon enough. There's going to be Gamba. There's going to be Gamba soon enough. And they're going to be nice in the background, I think. They're going to look nice. Okay. Master Duel time. Master Duel time. New 
Secret pack, new cards. Let's check him out. All right. Uh, let me quickly get a glimpse of all this because I, like I said, I'm not familiar with everything in here yet. The, okay, so the Labyrinth cards we expected. Big Welcome Labyrinth, Lady Labyrinth. So that was expected. Uh, the Dark World support is also new and good. Those cards are good. Rainbow and the new Grapha and Genta is also here. So that's solid. Uh, Trap Tricks is also in here. Um, I think it's all the new Trap Tricks support. We have Atipus, we have Pinguicula, we have... Trap Tricks, uh, the, the Tune, we have the Garden, we have Vesiculo, we have Pudica. It's all in here. The, the whole Atea is in here. Yeah, everything is in here. Okay, so this pack contains Dark World, Labyrinth, Trap Tricks. Muckraker is an interesting card, good card. We have Freki, the Runic Fangs. That's not a terrible card, also, although not great. And I guess we have the new generator boss monster now. And what, why ever they thought this was a good ultra rare. And why ever they thought this was a good ultra rare. Uh, I think overall that this is a very impactful box. Um, because I, th I just think Labyrinth is really good. I think Labyrinth is a really good deck for Master Duel. Because it's just a very, very strong deck that does not lose to Maxi. Uh, and I think that's very valuable. I think that's very valuable, is being a solid trap deck um, and not losing to Max C is a very important thing in Master Duel. Also, the fact that there is, that Master Duel is best of one means that there's a lot less... Like, of course, some people still play cards like Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, Evenly Matched, Red Reboot. Those cards exist, and some people use them, but in a best of one scenario, they are a lot less likely to happen than in a best of three. So, Labyrinth is very strong. Dark World is good, in my opinion. Um, Dark World is good. However, the deck suffers a lot from Maxi. And they also ban Silva, which means that you cannot, use, you cannot use Dark World as a hand loop strategy anymore. You have to use it as like, a, you know, other strategy, right? You have to, you have to do it differently. You have to, it, has to it, still can, it's, it's, it still can do a lot of stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, yo, Josh, do you think every Worlds team will pick Maxi, Ash, and Cald as their shared cards? I think there's a 99% chance that Maxi and Ash are going to be on everyone's uh, shared card list. I'm not sure what the third one is going to be. Uh, like, I'm personally, I haven't decided yet. My, my, current, my current standpoint on it is Ash and Maxi, you just have to do it. And the third one is up for debate. Uh, Fireboy, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Um, honestly, the most impactful thing about, uh, the most impactful thing about Dark World is probably just Grapha. It's probably just Grapha because you can use that in other decks. Although, King of the Swamp is already limited, which is like the easiest way to make this in some other decks. Like, for example, Tierlaments has been using this in the OCG a lot um, because of King of the Swamp. I don't know if you're going to be using it in Tierlaments in Master Duel because there's only one King of the Swamp. So I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, but this card is very strong. Uh, this card is very, very good. Uh, anyways, I want the Labyrinth cards. I want the Labyrinth cards, so we're going to open the Labyrinth pack. However, I saw earlier that there is you get a free pack here for everyone. Everyone should lo log in and do that. Because they have updated the Labyrinth secret pack. They've updated the Labyrinth secret pack to now also contain the Lady Labyrinth and the Big Welcome. So you get a free, uh, a free poll here. Let's see what we get from that. Haha, <laughs> we get an ultra easy clap from the free pack. And there's our first big welcome labyrinth. <laughs> Streamer luck at his best. Easy clap, no problem. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Okay, so we need one less big welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and now how many ultras in the first 10 packs zero what do you do zero one two three or four plus are the options all right 
You have a minute to predict. And then we open our first batch of 10 packs. Gamba away, chat. Gamba away. And then we're gonna... So we're definitely gonna play some Labyrinth today. We're definitely playing some Labyrinth today. Maybe we're also trying our hands at Dark World or Trap Tricks. Depending if we pull enough of the cards. I don't want to spend too many gems today. Um, or I don't want to spend all my, all my CP today, maybe. We'll see. But... Um, yeah, we'll definitely, we're definitely building Labyrinth, uh, and we might also try Dark World or Trap Tricks. We'll see. We will see. Uh, one thing worth noting is that I already have Lovely Labyrinth from back in the day, because we have already played, uh, we have already played um, Labyrinth before those cards, like a couple months ago, so I already have all the old Labyrinth cards. We already have all the old Labyrinth cards and Lovely, we don't need Lovely anymore. So it's only, for Labyrinth, it's only uh, the three more ladies and three more big welcomes that we need. Will you use your own card pool in Worlds? Uh, I actually don't know for sure. I know one thing. I know that we have to submit our decks from our account. Like we have to build them in our account and, and, and submit them that way. Um, so I assume we have to have the cards, yeah. I, I assume we have to have the cards. Anyways, let's open the first 10. It was a good start with the free pack. It's not looking as hot right now. Uh-oh. Believers are in shamble right now. Believers are in shambles. Eye of Selene. Zero looking good. Why the hell would you predict zero? Okay, Trap Tricks Garden. Alright. Couple of supers. You can get another free pack if you craft a super from it. Oh, is it a completely new pack? Is it a completely new secret pack? Was there no Labyrinth secret pack beforehand? Ah, oh, it's completely new. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, just yellow. Oh, and the Utopia. That means there's going to be nothing in this thing. Nothing. I already know it. Okay, an Eye of Selene was in there. An Eye of Selene was in there. Uh, Kraken, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Okay, we've acquired a playset of Evil Eye of Selene, I think. Whatever that's worth. Not much. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. The new Gamba is up. The new Gamba is up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm always keeping the option to vote for zero in there. Because if you vote for zero now, you deserve to lose all your points. So I'm not remaking the prediction uh, and retyping all the answers and everything. It's just if you vote for zero right now, it's your own fault. <laughs> That's on you. All right, the prediction is almost done, and here we go.
I'm not happy. Bro, I'm getting all the super rares, but like, I don't need those. Utopia, help me. Oh, come on. And now we get the guaranteed one, but like, that was going to be zero again. Bro, uh... We're running it again. We're running it again. We're running it back. God damn, that's a bad start. God damn, that's a bad start. Why are we remixing right now? We're not happy. <laughs> the thing is, Grapha is not the worst one. Like, I mean, I didn't have Grapha before, and if we're gonna try Dark World at some point, we're needing we need Grapha, but of course we need this one the most. Alright, when we wait for let me wait for the prediction to finish and then we pull hopefully we pull an ultra. Open the Labyrinth Secret Pack? I don't think that's better because, like, the Labyrinth Secret Pack also has a lot of bad cards in it. Like, Curse, Necrofear, Dark Sanctuary, and Dark Spirit Mastery. And also, at the same time, I already have three Welcome Labyrinth and La Lovely Labyrinth. So, one, two, three, four, five Ultras that I don't need. Five Ultras that I don't need and only two that I do need. I don't think it's smart to open this box for me. Maybe if you don't have, maybe if you don't have any of the Labyrinth cards yet, it's okay to open that one. But for me, I don't think it's worth it. All right, next batch. I... Oh, I don't need that even. Come on, give me one of those upgrades. Do it. Oh. Save me! It's fine. All we need to do is is keep going. <laughs> 99% of gamblers quit before hitting it big. Ah, oh, come on. Do I need to make it more expensive again? Have we reached another breakpoint where it needs to be more expensive? <laughs> Kyla Dorsch, thank you for the six months. Appreciate you. Thank you.
Never. <laughs> God damn. All right, Gamba is over in three, two, one, go. One. One rainbow pack, dude. Oh, bonus ultra that we didn't know about? Okay, okay, fine, fine, we'll take it, we'll take it. Draco Psych, also, thank you so much for the seven months and the kind words, appreciate you, welcome back. Don't say how lucky is this guy, what the hell do you mean, have you been watching? Stop, you're baiting. No, not that one. Flip it. No. Uh, I guess no, nah, I can't complain about this one. I can't complain about this one. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to complain about this one. All right. We go again. We go again. Oh my god. No, it's hap no, no, I, it's hold up. You get a 10% increase for that. You get a 10% increase for that. It's your own fault. It's your own fault. It's your own fault. I told you beforehand. I told you beforehand. Oh, oh, okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now, can I get one Lady Labyrinth at least out of these? Please. I guess that's fine. I guess we'll take it. Oh, Frecky. We didn't have Frecky yet. Flip it. Oh. Uh, two J's. Thank you for the tier one. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Gimme, gimme.
Now, Lady Labyrinth. Oh, oh god damn, dude. Zero Grapha, zero Lady Labyrinth, zero Rainbow. Damn. We only have one more go at 10 packs. We only have one more go at 10 packs. I don't want to pay our credit. Oh my god. Okay, no. No, uh uh. Mm mm. Yeah. <laughs> I have the page still open. I have the page still open. What do you mean? Edit. Another 10%. So this time plus 11. There you go. 10% increase. Easy clap. <laughs> no, you cannot buy, you cannot buy a cheaper remix. <laughs> That's not something you can do. <laughs> no, oh, not like this. Dude, how much is Wombo Combo? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How much is Wombo Combo? Okay. Uh, bro, it's 75k. Uh, I'm gonna just sit here. I'm gonna just sit here and let you guys just completely waste all of your points. And then I'm gonna increase it so it doesn't happen again. Easy clap. Also, what do, what do, you, what do you do if I do this? You think you have power here? You think you have power? No, you don't. No, you don't. Now it's muted. Now it's muted. Easy clap. Easy clap. Just muted. You've been muted. And you cannot be trusted, apparently. Uh, there you go. And there you go. Simple as that. <laughs> Don't 
Don't mess with me while I'm opening a batch of zero uh, ultra rare packs in Master Duel. <laughs> Don't mess with me during my darkest hours. <laughs> Bro, we get a guaranteed ultra, and I don't have... Oh, nah, dude. That's not good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, dude. Hold up. God damn, I want to play Labyrinth. Which one do we do? This one. Why are Master Duel streams always neg, dude? I swear, I've probably lost more money by streaming Master Duel than I'm making with it. Not a good financial decision to, to stream Master Duel. Uh, oh, wait, no. Last prediction was zero, right? And we do a new one. Yeah, zero and new one. What, how, what kind of day, like, how, how does, how does the universe define, like, when one of those days happens, you know, like, every once in a while, it's just like a, a like, we, 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 we're streaming normal, you know, everything is normal, and then at some point, it's just like, it just, it just goes down like that, you know, then there's like a day where, like, it's, I, I don't understand it, I don't understand it sometimes, you guys, I don't, I'm not sure how, like, Yesterday, everything was normal. We just played Master Duel. Everything was fine. And then the next day, the chat is full of uh, Math Mech copy pasta. And like every, every sub message is the Math Mech copy pasta. And everyone spams Wombo Combo, even though it's 75k. And people spam the remix, even though it's 100k. Then I make it 110k and they still spam it. I make it 120k. They still spam it. I, like sometimes it's just. It's honestly quite amazing. It's 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 kind of it's kind of funny. And then like, uh anyways, here we are. This is the life I've chosen. <laughs> now give me ultra rares. Okay, thank you. I'm losing my mind! Uh. Please two. Uh, uh. Nah. 
Not Utopia, dude. Not Utopia. I hate it when it happens. Don't give me Utopia ever again. Please give me Lady Labyrinth! Oh my god, I need Lady Labyrinth! Five Ultras, no Lady Labyrinth. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, this is not worth it. Streaming Master Duel is not worth it. I still have no Grappa. <laughs> I still have no Grappa. No Lady Labyrinth. No Rainbow. I've spent like 8,000 or 9,000 gems. I have a playset of the generator. Two Adipus. I have like two Sneaky Seas. Four lovely labyrinths, dude. Oh my god. Please, for the love of god. Give me Lady Labyrinth Grappa. I want those cards. Trust me, the secret pack gives you two lady. Okay, if we don't pull a lady in the next ten, we go, we go open the secret pack. Seriously. But I don't think... The, like, I, the thing is, I want the Dark Worlds too. It's bugged, go secret pack. There's no way it's bugged. There's no way it's bugged and the card is not in here. Surely not. Nice special effects. I feel like I know what's going to be in here. <laughs> I know what I'm going to pull, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can guess for yourself. You can guess for yourself which of these ultra rares is going to flip over the first time we pull an ultra. If we get a freaking ultra. <laughs> but that is up to each individual to decide which one that's going to be. But okay. 
Hold up, let me wait for the the gamba thingy. Okay, that's not the one I was thinking of. <laughs> that's not the one I was thinking of. <laughs> that one caught me off guard. Bro, you guys were spamming F. I thought my stream died again. <laughs> I thought my stream got I saw I thought my stream stream died. I checked my OBS and everything right now. What the hell? Why would you do that? All right, who, who had that one on their bingo sheet? Who had that one on their bingo sheet? I'm sure some of y'all did. Let's just not talk about the way we acquired this labyrinth deck, okay? Let's just not talk about it, all right? Can we agree to just never talk about this, this day and age again?
Oh wait, we need a we need a third glossy. It's of utmost importance that we get a third glossy of this dude. There we go. Uh, okay. Furniture Labyrinth is what we're going to try first. Uh, so I, my first, let me see, hold up, Ash. We're going to be playing Gamma in this. We're probably going to be playing Eradicator. Uh, we're probably going to end up playing Punishment. Extravagance. Mark Raker. Uh, Ku Klux here. The one prosperity. Mm, the one skill drain. We you you we might not need this, but I I'm I'm gonna throw it in. For now. Uh, Gozen I don't think is that great right now. Terrors, yeah, Terrors seems good. Terrors. Uh, wait. Under? Under root. That's not in the game yet? Oh, wait, no, it's over root. It's an ultra rare? Eh. Uh, we can play a Compulse. And then... Imperm... I think Imperm is okay as well, because you can, like, you can get Imperm in the right column with the Lady. And then you can reset it with the lovely lady in the right in the right columns as well. Maybe you want more imperm as well. I've seen some of these some of these labyrinth furniture labyrinth builds only play two ladies. We could switch lady for more imperms maybe. The Ruma? I don't think the Ruma is in Master Duel. No, it's not. Uh so Axel, Stardust, Baron, just in case we, you know, Gamma. Nightmares because they're fiends. Up, up, up. Need multiple Axel Baron. Uh, I have multiple Axels, but I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't. I'm just gonna play another level ten. I don't have a second Baron. Uh, I'm just gonna play. I don't know. Uh, is Chengying even good in this deck? Can you trigger Chengying? Oh. oh, we need we need punishment targets. Hold up, entity. We need Entis. Uh, we need Garura. There's no Bucephalus, right? Is Bucef oh, Bucephalus is in here, right? It kind of needs to be like that. It kind of needs to be like that. Or also, no, we need Baguska, right? Because that's Fiend. So we're just going to play one of each. Uh... 
Okay, we need to craft one more ultra. Dismantle selected cards. Let me see if I can get there. Am I ever going to play Evil Eyes? Probably not. We could... Uh, wait, why do we have two of this Karakuri Synchro? We don't need two of that. That can go. That's 15. I don't think I'm going to need three masquerades anytime soon. Okay, uh, let's just try this and see how it goes. How about Bistials? Can't you bounce those back to hand? Uh, you could play Bistials in this. I don't think they're necessary. It depends. Like, if you face a lot of... Uh, if you face a lot of tier limits, maybe they're better than, like, Ash. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Where's D-Barrier? Uh, I will. I, I'm not sure if I like D barrier. Like last time I played Labyrinth, I didn't like D barrier, but that was TCG. Maybe we'll throw in a D barrier. I think Gozen is not great because Tier Limit doesn't care, the Mirror Match doesn't care, Sprite can play under it, Runic doesn't care. I'm not sure if if Gozen Match is good right now in Master Duel because there's like no cash Tira and like the decks that lose to Gozen aren't really in Master Duel. Like the the Dragon decks don't care. I don't think Gozen is very good. That's probably worth gamming. Not sure what else we would gamma in this matchup. It's a mirror match. I think it's fine to gamma that. Uh, probably gonna go end phase. Chandelier. Pitch welcome labyrinth. Cause I can reset it. Like I'm, I'm thinking big welcome, uh, send welcome, set big welcome. And then I can big welcome, summon bounce, trigger everything. Yeah. Just said big welcome, I think. Well, that's nice. You could discard big welcome for its graveyard effect. I will have it in the graveyard anyways. So I'm just going to normal summon this. If they try to prevent it, I chain big welcome to bounce it. It's one effect per turn. I know that. I'm aware.
This is why I put um, Ash in this deck, because I figured in, in on the first day there was going to be a lot of Labyrinth Mirrors, and Ash is really good against Labyrinth. It's not as good against Labyrinth as it is against, like, uh, what's it called? Branded, but it is still really strong. Which is also why you might want to consider playing something like Solemn Strike in your Labyrinth decks. Uh, I like this one most. Oh yeah, Baron is my main card. Play Red Reboot? Uh, no, thank you. What do you think about Evenly? Evenly's, Evenly's fine. You can play Evenly. Because, like, the idea is that when you go first, you can discard it for your furnitures. You can play evenly. There's also some other things you can do with this deck, depending on what you expect. Like, you can play shufflers in it, for example, because shufflers are really good discards for the furnitures. Like, if you go second against tier limit, they go, uh, they go ahead and build a chain uh, with tier limits in the graveyard, and you just go chain furniture, discard Mudora or Keldo. Just completely insane. Bro, the Ash, still, it doesn't. It never ceases to amaze me how disrespectful the Ash sound effect is, dude. When you negate something like Branded Fusion and that thing just laughs at you, it's just not, it's not okay. Normally, I was going to wait and see what we can get from uh, from Maxi, but yeah, we need those draws. Aww, can I draw a starter? My deck, ha my deck should never break, dude. That deck has so many starters. What is this game? Fusing Baldrake. <laughs> Bald. What are they sending? Probably Albion to send Retribution. Or Serenir, same thing, kind of. I'm just going to Ash Branded Fusion again. Uh, I think it's good for me if they get the... Um... If they get the, what's it called, the, um, 
the retribution out of the deck. I don't want the retribution to be there. No. Can I please get a starter? That should do it. Surely. Uh, one Antis can go. These can go because Gamma is gone. This. Two Muckrakers. And Baguska is quite good here, but we don't need Omega. Yeah. There's Big Welcome. Okay, Big Welcome will do it. Worst case, that's... It's just going to be Big Welcome here. I think. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Decklist, please. It's always in the Discord. Exclamation mark Discord, and then check the channel current decklist. That's where the decklists always are. What are your thoughts on Dark World? I think Dark World has potential. It has a max C problem. But other than that, I think it's it's pretty good. Try Tour Guide with Sangan. I I don't hate that. I don't hate Tour Guide in this deck. It's just, what I don't like about Tour Guide is that you're making a deck that is very good against Maxi, very bad against Maxi. Can't you deck out with Dark World? Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, yes, but um, the problem is that very often they draw into more hand traps and that stops you then. Like, you would have to play something like Danger Dark World and you would have to, you know, uh, draw your entire deck to get to card destruction. But, yeah, I'm not sure. There's Tillemans in this? Can you stop hitting? If they're smart, they can already outplay Ash by making Axel into Baron and then... Axel, Baron, and then uh, Gallant, but... Okay, Farfa. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna re... Oh my god. How are you such a Twitch chatter when you're in my chat? Thank you. 
I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember the last time I won the coin flip against an Adamantipator deck. Maybe it's because they always surrender. But like the only times I remember playing against Adamantipator, it's just always been going second. God damn. That's not a great hand. Your turn. Read Diabolica, the Dragonic General for Dark World. Really good card. We don't have it in the TCG yet. Is it out in Master Duel? Melfi Penny. Looking like a sprite angle. Which I can't really do anything about at this point. I don't have a good disruption if they have blue jet with this. I'm going to Ash starter, I think. But this is looking very bad, of course. I mean, we opened three cards, basically. Yeah. We might actually just want to play two ladies. That is genuinely something I'm considering. How are we deranking, by the way? That's better. Uh, I might want to chain this. However, I'm not sure what I want to discard right now. I don't really have anything I want to discard. I might just sit out the shifter. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, I don't, I'm not gonna gamma the shifter. I don't care enough about it. Uh, is it worth ashing packs? Because I can just, what I'm thinking is I just want to gamma the XYZ. I just want to gamma the XYZ. I don't even want to ash Martha, honestly. I think, I think, like, ashing Martha let, lets them keep it in hand. I think I'm just gonna ash packs. And if they have Martha, I still have Gamma. Wait, why did Ash go to Graveyard? Oh, they chained. They chained to Shifter. Why would you do that? All my synchros are gone. All of them. <laughs> we can just pitch gamma for the for the furniture, honestly. Uh, I'm almost tempted to grab the field spell. Big welcome is also really good. It's probably just big welcome. Probably just big welcome here.
Is it ever worth firing a big welcome? Nah, no way. Uh, I don't really want him to draw a card. Okay. Okay, <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Just put big ladies onto the field. Yes. That. It's funny. That it's it's kind of funny that they said skill drain in the column of uh, imp uh, the imperm in the column of skill drain as if that was ever gonna do something. But you do you. You have been skill drained. Okay, hold up. Uh, no, not change. Edit. Uh, what did you say I should look at? For Dark World? This thing? If a fiend monster except Diabolica the Dragonic General is sent to your grave, you can spare some this card from your grave or hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target a fiend in your grave, add it to your hand. You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. Uh, it's not a bad card. It really isn't. Yeah, I could see it. It sucks that it it's it's only one of the two effects. If it was both effects, I think it'd be really good. But yeah, does big welcome also gain the field spell effect? Uh, it is a welcome labyrinth. So yes, you can pop with labyrinth labyrinth. Uh, if you activate big welcome. Uh, let me take out a lady labyrinth for a dimensional barrier. Bop. Yes.
What do you think about playing the shufflers? Uh, in a field of a lot of tier limits, I think I would. In a field of a lot of tier limits, I would play shufflers. Uh, so far, I'm still in diamond, not even in master yet. So there's not even, there's not that many tier limits. So my question is, do I even maxi now? Do I maxi? I don't think I maxi now because they're just going to pass. I don't want them to just pass. I want to draw cards. I know they're going to link summon, but if I, if I just maxi, they just pass. Or, even better, hear me out. They don't even, they don't even, have, they don't even have the link technology. They don't even have it. We just maxi like that, like that. It's Shadol then? Oh, it could be. Ah, no, my maxi! Wait, isn't that just a vanilla? Yeah, oh god, that's a vanilla! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I think I just add this. Activate it. Activate this. Get big lady. Bounce Ariana. Trigger big lady. This one is popped with... Yeah. Uh, the only reason we can make this play is because we have a second big welcome, by the way. If we didn't have a second big welcome, this would be way too weak to Ash Blossom. But if they have Ash now, we have another big welcome next turn. So they would need two Ashes. Should I decraft my Spellbounds? Uh, I don't think you're going to need them. I don't think you're going to need them. I have one Spellbound, and I'm only keeping it because it's royal. I don't like disenchanting royals. No! Not Stovey Torby!
Yeah. Yeah, fine. Uh, I could get this and then activate this, bring back the other. Yeah. Sure. Not bad. Oh, I wanted to get that and I wanted to chain that. Okay, well. I guess that means we're going to have to do it a little bit differently. Uh, we're just going to bounce that then. Trigger Magna. I would rather draw a card, I think. I would rather draw a card than search a labyrinth right now. Because I already have most of the labyrinth. Yeah. Wait, special summon a monster to the field? Oh, I can special a fiend. Uh, no. Set a spell trap. Sure. I don't understand what their deck was. <laughs> Look at their deck. No, it was obviously just a beginner with not a great deck. What is the point of looking at that and making fun of it? You just want to make fun of them. Ah. There she is. 60 cards. Of course we go second. We're going to have a problem here. Yep, we're absolutely going to have a problem. Wait, is expecting a new ban list? No. I don't think so. Uh, you know what? I'm just... How can I... Why do I not draw hand traps against... Like, this is what I'm saying. It's like you always go second against Ad Emancipator. They're never punished for playing a bad deck. And now we draw Maxi against the dude with the Sky Striker sleeves. Story checks out. Uh, 
I think you might as well. Because Max C here means that they might not be able to do some stuff that they wanted to do. Like they could maybe, maybe they wanted to get Ku Clock, get a Welcome Labyrinth, use that as well. So now this doesn't, this incentivizes them not to do that. Can Lab compete with Tier Limits? Um... It depends a little bit on how well the tier limits draw because tier limit is not as consistent in Master Duel specifically. So if the uh, if they draw Pearl or Rhino, I think it's hard. If they don't have Pearl or Rhino, I think it can. I kind of still want Big Welcome. Regular is fine. But not great. I, no, I'm getting Big Welcome. It's the same one, unfortunately. Oh, they know what we're playing now. That's a problem. Trap cards was called. Well, They summoned them the wrong way around. Um, so I'm resolving big welcome right now. So I'm going to go. It's It has to be Ariana. Wait, why did I set Welcome Labyrinth? I should have set the field spell. I'm an idiot. If I had set the field spell, we would actually be in not bad shape. It wouldn't even be bad. Right now. Uh, the question is... Do I use Extravagance? Because I could draw two monsters. I play a lot of monsters. I could draw two monsters. If I draw one trap and a monster. Or a spell. Then it's fine to use it. I could also just Ariana for the field spell. And then set another, well, big uh, another welcome labyrinth with this. I think I use it. If I draw two traps, it's a disaster. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's just not beatable at all, dude. I've played like 10 games with this deck. I haven't opened this good once. New cards revealed? Oh, I'll look at it after this game.
These are the type of hands that I'm drawing. Like, they're not bad. But they're not what they just had. I want what they just had. I'm thinking about whether I should just shotgun. Welcome Labyrinth into Ariana, search. Then big welcome summon lady, bounce Ariana, you pop a card in hand. Or if I should wait. EEV him? You can't EEV off of two cards. Doesn't work. Well, actually, no, it does. You can. No, these two, it does it. Yeah. Should I EV him? So it's welcome, summon lady. Big welcome, chain lady, set eradicator, summon, bounce. Let's do it. They have some quick effect. They could chain block this. Uh, Odin Tabris, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate you. It's a lot of clicks you need to perform for this Eradicator combo <laughs> on Master Duel. Uh-oh. Well, you're not being eradicated, I guess. Fine. The thing is, I was fine with that because it means Maxi goes through. Hopefully. Surely, right? Well, should have uh, the Eradicator better gone through. There was three spells. Oh no, I'm not losing to Raviel. How is everything uh, royal? Tribute this card, special summon, da da da, from your hand. Okay. Ha! 
How? What is Fallen Paradise? Don't tell me it's the one that lets you draw two cards. No, it's the one that lets you draw two cards. It's also royal. What's going on? I refuse to lose to this. Um... The token level two? No, it's not. Oh, that one's not royal, right? Oh yeah, we don't have royal sprite cards over here. We only have the 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 most uh, elite cards in royal. I see. I see how it is. Yeah, he doesn't get the token. Oh, come on. I wanted to finish that game. That was actually going to be interesting. Oh. Okay, chat. Chat. How many royals? How many royals? We saw like four. So the minimum is four. Four, I think we saw the Raviel, both of the mini beasts. No, it was we saw five. We saw five. How many royals? Five, six to ten, eleven to fifteen, sixteen plus. You have you have two minutes to predict because I need to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You go. Uh, we we will watch the uh, we'll watch the uh, the deck in a second. Hold up. Give me a second. I'll be right back.
Okay. Okay, let's see. The Gamba is over. Okay. Confirm opponent's deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen royal rares, dude. God damn. God damn, that's a lot of royals. Bruh. Crazy. Crazy. Let's check out those new cards before we continue climbing. If you even want to call what we're doing right now climbing, because we're being feather duster and everything. Uh, these cards are apparently... There's a live swing going on right now. Okay, well... I'll let you Pepe D this time. <sighs> okay. Okay, now that that's over, fully equip yourself with Armored, uh, Age of Overlord. Shark busts out his new old armoring of his monster to steal themselves for combat. Okay, this is a shark archetype or shark or water support-ish. This is really a year for like the fire and water enjoyers, it seems like. XYZ Armored Torpedo, rank 3 water warrior XYZ effect monster, generic... Rank 3, okay. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Cannot attack unless it has material. You can detach two materials from this card, draw a card. Not bad. While this card is equipped to a monster, apply these effects. If the equipped monster battles, until the end of the damage step, your opponent cannot activate card or effects. Also, also the effects of all face-up monsters they control are negated. If the equipped monster is an XYZ, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Okay, I'm not sure how we're going to equip it to something, but technically we can, and also we can draw a card off of it. That's not a terrible card. Not crazy, but okay. Uh, XYZ Armor Fortress, rank 5 Water Machine, uh, generic rank 5. Once per turn, you can also XYZ summon XYZ Armor Fortress by using a rank 3 or 4. Oh, that's what you're supposed to... <coughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Summon this dude, draw a card, rank up into this. Okay. Hold up, this makes Zeus for rank force. This is like downer for rank force. Uh, but, oh no, hold on. This card with material cannot be used as a material for an XYZ summon. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Um, once per turn, you can detach up to two materials from this card. Add the same number of armored XYZ cards with different names from your deck to your hand. Uh, wait, that's a hella good effect. But what the hell is, what is Armored XYZ? What is that? What cards are those? You can't draw with the rank three and then use the surge? You can. You, you can only surge one. But you have the, you, remember, you have this as material under this. So... Two level threes in this deck. Let's say, let's say you're playing this deck, and there's more. But let's say you're playing... I don't know what this even means, but let's say you're playing an armored XYZ deck, right? You need two level threes on the board. You make the XYZ armored torpedo. You detach two to draw a card. Then you rank up into this dude. You have one material on it. You can detach one to search an armored XYZ card from your deck to your hand. So those two level threes already get you this body, a draw, and a search. Isn't it's not terrible really? Uh, and then you have there's another one even. Either you get even more. 
Once per turn, you can also XYZ summon full armor Dark Lancer by using a 5 or 6 monster you control as material, so you slap that on top of that. Gains 300 attack for each material attached to it and each card equipped to it. Once per turn, you can target an XYZ card in your graveyard added to your hand, so you have another potential plus one here. Once per turn, if a monster you control becomes equipped with an equipped card, you can attach a monster your opponent controls to this card as material. Um... Interesting concept. Reminds me of Zodiac, honestly. Uh, this one can go into Zeus, because this one does not have a restriction on it. So, technically, this card can go into every deck that can make rank 5 or 6 to get an extra Zeus material. However, that already exists. For rank 5 or 6, um, that already exists because it's Gaia Charger. Gaia Charger already does the extra Zeus material for rank 5 or 6. However, I think this is a better card than Gaia Charger. Can you put Downard on the rank 3 and then the rank 5 on Downard to get an extra search? Um... Yeah. Yeah, you can. But uh, Downard is only main phase 2. Right? It's only main phase 2, so you would have to be in main phase 2 for that. But technically, you could um, you could summon the rank 3s, draw a card, and then you could downward on it, and then you could make this, and then you could search twice. Yeah. Uh, and then you could make that, add back one of those XYZ cards in the graveyard. No, this is not bad. It just depends a lot on what kind of cards you are searching and what kind of cards you can add back, right? Because I have no idea... Is this a completely new archetype? Remind me right now. Is that something we already have and it's just ever been bad? Or is that something that's already out? Okay, anyways. XYZ and Trust. So this card can be added back off of this, but it cannot be searched off of this because it's not armored XYZ. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Add an armored XYZ card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then you can make the levels of up to two face-up monsters you control become three or five until the end of this turn. Now, this card is just phenomenal. If Armored XYZ is a good archetype, then this card is phenomenal. It's a Rhoda with a bonus. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it, then target an XYZ, you tar tr treat it as an equip in your spell and trap zone, special summon it. It's a Rhoda with bonus. That's crazy. That's, a, that's very good. It, it even has two bonuses, right? It can, it can manipulate levels, and it has a graveyard effect. So, this card is phenomenal. If the, arch if the archetype is good... You're going to play this card for sure. Full Armored XYZ. If an XYZ monster is on the field, immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ summon an XYZ monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target an XYZ you control. Equip one other XYZ from your face-up field or graveyard to it as an equip spell with these effects. The equipped monster gains attack equal to this card's. If the equipped monster was destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy this card. This card is not phenomenal. That card isn't great, but okay. Uh, now, I want to know what it is. What is. What about this armored XYZ archetype? What does that mean? Armored XYZ. Uh, normal spell card. Not yet released. It's not, it's not, it's literally one card. Is this the only one? Okay. Target one face-up monster you control and one XYZ monster in your graveyard. Equip that monster from the graveyard to that other monster on the field as an equip spell with these effects. The equipped monster attack becomes this card. The equipped monster's attribute is treated as this card. If the equipped monster attacked at the end of the damage step, send this card to the graveyard. The monster it was equipped to can make a second attack in a row. Um, this card is not good, of course, but if you get it for completely free, maybe, because it turns, it, it like, it gives you this, it, it turns you this, it turns on this effect, right? But, I don't know. The XYZs are good, the spell is obviously good, the, the problem is, I, I think the armored XYZ card is not very good, and I'm not sure if you're gonna find a home for these cards somewhere, like, but they're not terrible. 
It's also worth noting that they, they, they take up a lot of extra deck space to do a couple things. But not awful. Not awful. Not, not crazy either, though. Okay. Let's hop back into Master Duel. And proceed. Have you already seen the Pyro Rank 4? I have seen the Pyro Rank 4, yeah. The TG cards on stream are very, very good. Ooh. Bro, we play so many hand traps. How many is it? Nine? We're being eradicated again. I can feel it in my bones. Mm-hmm. We can block it with furnitures. They drew a lady as well. That's funny. It's still not looking pretty. <laughs> it's not looking good. Why did they special summon this? Oh, because they want to bounce it with this. But why wouldn't you just return Ariana? They played two, though. This is not looking good. <sighs> Bro, I've never opened like that. In like... Over two hours or something of playing this deck, I've never opened like that. I just don't. Mm. Didn't go for Eradicator. I can't respond uh, with Maxi.
now I get eradicated. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, man. Should have chained Eradicator here. Also, why are you doing that? I'm drawing a card off of that. That was by far the best card you could have drawn. Or you could have hit, I mean... Wait, why can't I? Wait, what? Oh, I used it already. I picked the wrong one. Uh... Oh, I picked the wrong one. No, that was actually winnable. Fuck. Oh, I don't think it's winnable anymore. I kind of messed that up really badly. Yeah, but now what? Muckraker. It's probably Muckraker, right? Mark Raker, summon back lovely lady. Has to be. Just pitch one of these. Oh, this would have been so good if I did that earlier. I would have had, it would have been so much better.
Okay, they have a welcome labyrinth set. God damn it. That was going to be that was actually winnable. Do I bounce this so it can't chain? I kind of want to. Oh, I can't target it. Oh, man. Problem is... The Shuffler top deck, dude. The Shuffler top deck just casually got... was a, a plus three right now. It was just a plus three right now.
I'm mad at this game because it was winnable. I think, even though they had an insane start. I think it was winnable. Frustrating. Do we die this turn? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I think we need this dude again. Oh wait, no, we die. I think. Yeah. Man, come on. TG cards are on YG York. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this game because I already clicked, but we can we can read them in a second. Mm, maybe they want me to read the TG cards. Oh no, they don't. Who clock? Question mark. I can cool clock, then I can use one of those, then cool clock comes back, and then I can use the trap card. That's fine. It's worse than Ariana, but it's, it works. It's kind of the same as Ariana, honestly. Uh, I think I special summon it. And then we go big welcome. It's annoying, but it works. Fine. Same thing. It's not the same thing because we would have also gotten a reset on a trap card. It would have not been... It's not exactly the same. It's worse for us because we would have also gotten a free trap back, but it's fine. Uh, So I think we... Do we just set the field spell with Stoby Torby? Or do we wait? We, we might not even use it this turn. No, I think I want the field spell. You can make Muckraker. I don't think that's worth it. I can, but I don't think it's worth it. 
Well, not now, definitely not anymore. If you use so if I use Stoby first, it would have come back for free. Yeah. Destroy one card on the field. I could destroy my own card. And trigger all my stuff. I don't hate that idea. Mm. I mean, I don't really need to do that, though. I could also just go Ariana. Yeah, it's just Ariana. No. IKEA is ass. You guys, I don't even know what you're talking about. You think I? You think it would be better right now if I was playing the full trap version? Are you? Are you completely like? What is wrong with you? You think it would have been better if I had gotten Feather Duster in the Set 5 Labyrinth version? I don't understand what you're on about. Like, I don't get it. That would have gone so much better against an Exo Sister deck that opened Feather Duster and could have prospered into evenly matched. It would have been so much better. Bro, come on! This is so bad for us, dude. Because we, if we use Big Welcome from the graveyard, they can trigger all their little shits. Okay, so I use Big Welcome. This. I bounce Caspitel. They trigger these two guys. I trigger a lady.
Maybe we didn't care about Caspitel. We're missing one card right now. If we had one more card in hand, we could get to another trap card with Lady Labyrinth. I think it's still winnable, but we probably should have just... Probably should have just... Um, bounced the 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 small exo sister and then destroyed martha and left the caspitel there that is So, this and this, I think. I mean, we definitely summon Lady, I believe. We definitely want to summon Lady, and we need to use this as well. It's annoying that this is banished. We only play one. Good. Phoenix Entis Baguska. Okay, not the greatest ones, but not the worst ones either. Oh, extravagance! Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> I realized as I clicked. I realized as I clicked, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, let's do this. I was in the moment. Probably just that. Uh... Moves a card out of the graveyard. Okay, we can't use any of those. We cannot use any of those. No. Not yet. I guess we normal summon this. And just try to attack over these two. Hope it's not the other trap.
God damn it. Um... Uh, yeah, my bad, this game. I forgot about the TG cards again! My bad, sorry. Please add second lovely. I will never. I'm thinking about a second Ku Clock, because opening Ku... Oh, my. Oh, I should have used that. Do I... Do you ash that? Yeah? Let's ash it.
Once per turn, if your opponent adds a card from the deck to their hand, except during the draw phase, you can make your opponent send a monster from their hand or field to the graveyard. When a card effect is activated, you can tribute two generator, negate the activation. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. I could have started with, I could have started with, oh, I could have chained, oh, that would have been sick. I chained this one, get this one into the graveyard and then bounce Ariana. That would have been great. The thing is, I haven't played much Labyrinth, so cut me some slack, okay? It's it's very normal to misplay when you're playing a deck for the first time, like, for real. I haven't played this deck much, the furniture build. Mm. There's no reason to bounce this Ariana, is there? Okay, so... I'm kind of thinking we just welcome Labyrinth, get out the lady, and then we just punishment this dude by sending Bucephalus. I kind of want to do that. Uh, welcome, Labyrinth. Wouldn't send Entis to pop the field be better? Well, if Entis had more attack than horror, you would be correct. However, it does not. So that is not a legal play that I can do. Wait, Ash was called by the grave. Oh, Ash, Ash was called by the grave anyways. Yeah, right, true, you're right. They always forget. I mean, I forgot too, right? It's kind of like it's when I'm streaming, I always play a lot worse because I'm like, you know, juggling chat interaction and everything and talking about what I'm doing. But yeah, okay. Uh, I did not forget this time TG cards announced in Age of Overlord. Give me a second. Uh, more synchro support apparently. Which, I mean, makes sense. TG is a Synchro-based archetype. Um, this is dangerous stuff, dude. Synchros are getting some serious love recently. Synchros are getting some serious, serious love in the last couple sets. So, you know, let's see. Let's see how to use the new TG support cards. Where are actual new cards? Okay. Tech Genus Rocket Salamander. Level 1 Fire Pyro Effect Monster. Uh, keep in mind this means that you can play up to six copies of this, right? Because there is a Pyro Rhoda that's coming out soon. 
You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can tribute a TG monster. Special summon a TG monster from a different with a different original name from your deck. Okay, so it's Lone Fire Blossom for TGs. If you control a machine TG monster, you can target a level 4 or lower TG monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, but its effects are negated. That's pretty solid. I mean, a, a Lone Fire Blossom with a bonus effect if you can get another TG onto the field. That's a machine. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. Tech Genius Mighty Striker, level 2 Synchro. All right. Uh, you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can add a TG spell and trap uh, from your deck to your hand, spell or trap. Okay. Once per opponent's main phase, Quick Synchro. That's what a lot of the TG Synchros have. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can send a TG card from your deck to the graveyard. Now, that's a good card. If you, can, if you can make a level 2 Synchro, which isn't always easy these days, you know, it's not always simple to make a level 2 Synchro, but adds a TG on Summon and foolishes a TG on Send to the Graveyard. Kind of like a TG Denglong, no? Feels like a little TG Denglong situation, because on summon it, uh, it it searches, and on send it's it, it's a foolish. That is very good. Also keep in mind that the new dude, the other one, is a level one. So you just need to pair this one with a level one tuner, and there you go. Okay. TG over Dragoner, level 5 Dark Dragon Synchro effect. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned. Uh, you can special summon any number of TG monsters from your graveyard in defense position. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except TGs. If this card on the field is destroyed, draw a card. Uh, so that one is interesting. It's like a Omega Soul Charge for TGs. It locks you into only TGs, but maybe that's still good because it's only the rest of the turn. So you can do a lot of you can you can do a lot of synchro shenanigans before this. Maybe make a Baron or whatever, and then you make this, you revive two or three or four monsters, and you still get to do in, like, one of the very big TG Synchros, right? Meh, not, not terrible. Uh, just James, thank you for the tier one sub, and uh, Spacius Planty, thank you for the three months, appreciate the Prime, welcome back. Uh, appreciate both of you, thank you. Okay, TG Glaive Blaster. Here we have one of those new... Like, there's a couple of iconic level, twin, level 12 um, TG Synchros, like, ba from back in the day, like the Halberd Cannon and whatnot. I don't think those are any good anymore, so maybe this one is better. So this one requires a Tuner Synchro Monster, plus two plus non-Tuner Synchro Monsters. Must be Synchro Summoned. Quick effect, you can target a special summoned monster from the extra deck, banish it. You can use this effect a number of times per turn, up to the number of non-tuner synchros used as synchro material for this card. Once per turn, if a monster becomes banished face up, you can target one of them, special summon it to your field, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay. Not terrible. It's like you're gonna you can like summon it after you make this because it gives you back a lot of TGs, right? You can like bring back Librarian, bring back another level two tuner and whatever, then you can make this. So you can use it to protect itself. You can if your opponent tries to get rid of it, you can like chain it and hop in and out. Yeah, technically. Yeah, interesting card. Cool mechanic. Not too busted though. You would expect a you would expect a level 12 synchro to be a little bit more busted than this. However, um, if you consider the previous card, then of course this card becomes infinitely easier to summon. Right? Uh, TG Break Limiter. You can only use one of the, the first and second effect of this card's name per turn, only once that turn. This card, a card, add two TG monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Okay, so they got like a Makina redeployment. You can banish this card from your grave, then target a TG in your grave, shuffle it into the deck, or if you control a machine TG, you can add it back to your hand. Okay, you can only use one of the two effects, but it's a, it's a pretty good card. It's a, it's a minus one into Ash Blossom. So I don't I think this is a little bit worse 
than just a straight up rota. Um, but still pretty good. Tech Genus all clear. Continuous spell card. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. TG monsters on the field become machine monsters. Uh, during your main phase, you can normal summon one in addition to your normal summoner set. During your main phase, you can destroy a TG monster in your hand or field. And if you do, add a TG with a different name from your deck to your hand. Wait. Don't all the TGs have a, have a trigger effect when they're destroyed? Like TG Werewolf? Hold up. TG Warwolf. Okay, not the sea shanty right now. Uh, once per turn. Oh, no, this is end phase. This is end phase. Didn't they have better floaters? Did they not have better floaters than that? No? Okay. So they're not that great. Uh, Nolpeter, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. Okay, so they only search in the end phase, so that's not great. But still, I mean, this card is double summon plus Dragonic Diagram. You know? Double summon plus Dragonic Diagram, and it's searchable from the level 2 synchro. So that's pretty good. Uh, Tech Genus Close. Counter Trap card. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn, only once a turn. When your opponent activates a spell, trap card, or monster effect, and you control a machine TG monster, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Okay, spell and trap negate. Uh, no, actually, Omni negate trap. Pretty good. If a synchro monster becomes banished while this card is in your grave, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, some recursion as well. Um... The cool thing is, if you can manage to banish a Synchro while this is... Like, you could send this off of the... The Denglong Synchro. Wait, which one was it? This one, right? You don't have to search it with this. You can search a better spell and trap, and then you can just... When, this, when you Synchro with this, you can just send it from the deck to the graveyard, banish a Synchro later somehow, and then you get it for free, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, overall, interesting support. I'm not sure if this makes TG as a deck great. Because, I'm going to be honest with you, that's a lot of good spell and traps. That's a lot of good synchros. But the TG main deck front is looking pretty outdated, I think. Right? Like, it's like, yeah, the spell and traps are good. The synchros are good, but... Most of these cards are pretty outdated. Like, the last time TG cards were good is, like, 2011. When you played, like, TG Stun with Rush Rhino and Striker and Warwolf. I'm not sure if, uh, you know, if there's great stuff. What, is the, what about the Link monster? Is the Link monster at least good? It's a Link 3. If this card is Link Summoned, you can Special Summon three TG monsters. One from Hand, one from Deck, one from Grave. <laughs> In defense position, but it also locks you into TG for the rest of the turn. Oops. Uh, once again, it's a good card, but it locks you into TG. And I'm not sure if that's good enough. I'm not sure if that's good enough because TG's just like the main deck stuff is just all too bad. Right? It's all a little bit too bad, I think. But nonetheless... Very solid cards here. They need more main deck monsters, though. I think that's really what, what it comes down to for TGs, is they need more main deck monsters. Simple as that. They simply need more main deck monsters. Okay. Give them circular? Do not give them circular. Whatever you do, do not give them circular. I missed one? Wait, where? In the article? That's it. That's all that's in the article.
I, I kind of want to add the second Ku Clock. I really want to. Why is there so many generators? Uh, I think here I just want Welcome Labyrinth. So we're going to draw for turn. We're going to Ash the boss stage. We're going to Ash the boss stage. And then, if that works, I think we're going to Welcome in draw phase because I don't want to draw the Lady. Oh, come on! Twenty eight black twenty eight, thank you for the prime, appreciate you. I don't understand generator. Well, like, I understand what it does, but I don't understand what the point of it is, of doing all that. Like, you did all that to have a, uh... You did all that just to get a monster, uh, an Omni Negate? I'd be very mad right now if that affected my deck. Like, what does this deck do? Genuinely.
That can't be it. That can't be it. Okay, it draws Feather Duster. Bro, you opened Maxi Feather Duster boss stage called by the grave. And whatever this is. So this makes a rank nine now, I suppose. But he didn't open generator cards. He opened two of that and the field spell. What do you mean no no generator cards? Maybe you shouldn't have battled it. Uh, maybe you're right. I didn't know it had. It, I didn't know it worked from the graveyard as well. I thought it was just from hand. This is... You contribute this XYZ summoned card. Special summon a generator from your extra deck. Attach cards from field or graveyard to that special summon monster up to the number of materials this card had. Okay, they're gonna attach my big welcome and I'm gonna have to top deck. Uh, quick effect, you can de detach a material from this card. Each player draws one, then each player drew attaches one card from their hand or field to this card. Okay. So yeah, the problem was that I attacked this. I should have just not attacked it. Then we had... Pre I, I'm pretty sure we were guaranteed to win if I... If I didn't do that. I should have just not attacked over this thing. Okay, I didn't want to draw that. That's even worse. Use it again. Hmm. Imagine I had the gamma now, dude. Imagine I had the gamma now.
Yeah, we're dead. That was on me though. We wouldn't have lost. We would not have lost that if I if I had known the card, the the red one. Josh in the mud today. I'm not playing well today. It is true. I'm not playing that well today. It's fine though. It's okay. It's just ranked. Okay, this is finally a completely nutty hand. Uh, that... Don't have Gamma, so those can probably go... Ooh, the Ku Clock... Uh, probably get the field spell online. I think that's good. Like, field spell, and then Ariana searches... Uh, uh, we set this, Ariana searches welcome. Wait, but we don't have... Ah, oh, we get Ku Clock back. Yeah, let's get this. We grab welcome. We trigger that one. And that one. It's annoying that they had lady because it's going to chain to our trap card. Uh, we need to summon Ku Clock here. Otherwise, we don't have a fiend to activate welcome. They have a bounce for your back row. You think they would have just bounced my back row? I could have just reset it. You know that, right? Kind of a messy turn one. The mirror certainly requires some practice, I feel like. Mm.
I think, I think I'm just gonna welcome Labyrinth here. Right over the bat. That one we have to Ash. Because I want to keep my field spell around. They chain here just to... I think I'm chain blocking. Yeah, let's chain block the... Let's chain block the lady. I don't want him to get that. He misplayed by not chaining Lady. He couldn't chain Lady because of Lovely. You can't chain monster effects to my trap cards. He was not able to do that. Mm. Probably just Ariana. Do we just pop this? Yeah, we pop it so it can't trigger. And then we trigger everything! I love this moment. It's my favorite moment. Okay, do I want to draw or want to search? Uh, I want to search. No, I, I only play one Ku Clock. Okay, uh, I want to draw then. Let's draw. Okay, well. Oh, I didn't know that. It can't be destroyed. I've never. Oh, come on. No, I genuinely didn't know that. It's never mattered to me, because I have never been able to target it with my runic spells anyways. <laughs> it never mattered. It's fine here. I don't think it makes a big difference. No, I did not know that that couldn't be targeted. I genuinely had no idea. I genuinely had no idea. I just thought it couldn't be targeted. Uh, target the new one. Trigger. 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 I mean, it's it's Omega over anyways, even though I misplayed, but it doesn't really matter right now. Let's add a second Ku Clock. I'm kind of a fan of... Hold up, we need another glossy one. There we go. Uh, 
I don't know if we need all those random trap cards. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure if we need all of them, because it's like... Most of the time... Most of the time, let's be real, you're gonna, you go for like, either you get your Welcome Labyrinth, or you get... Barrier Eradicator. Let's take out Compulse. You can play two Welcome Labyrinth. I genuinely think you can. Welcome Labyrinth is a little bit worse than... Ah. Driver. Spotted. Do you shotgun any of it? Do you shotgun... We could shotgun Eradicator again, right? Welcome for... Yeah, we could try... We could try Eradicator, this fool. Let's try Eradicatoring this fool. I just want to see how it feels. Also, I'm tired of being uh, feather dusted, which always happens when I don't do this. Okay. Uh, Jack Pillar, thank you for the five months. Do I think purely is a good investment? Uh, the thing is, I've said this before, the last ban list already. I said, I think Purely is not going to get hit on the ban list. I think so. I find it very... I, I would find it very weird if they hit Purely again. On the next ban list. Because, like... I feel like the last one was already unreasonable. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I think ashing that's honestly worth it. Let's ash that. I, I personally think yes. I think purely is a solid investment. I think purely is a solid investment. Please let me at least hit some spells. For the love of God. Well,
Chat, I think we die. <laughs> I think we die. We negate Atom? If they have, if they make Atom, yeah, I'm thinking they just link. Yeah, they just make Dark, send Ariana. That way they have a target for Dark, and they summon the baby dragon, and we, yeah, no, we die. We die. Straight up. We are just dead. Note to self, don't blind Eradicator. Do not blind Eradicator anymore. Mmm, Ku Clock. Do I go big welcome again or just welcome? Probably big welcome. Here we can get Eradicator. I'm pretty sure. Here getting Eradicator is relatively safe. We're not going to use it this turn. But it's pretty good here. It's a 60 card deck. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should wait and see their hand. What the hell was their deck? 60 card Gravekeepers? What does that mean? That's what that means. Awkward. Okay. Uh, normal summon Ariane. See if that works. Hmm. <laughs> 
thing is, normally you could just go, you could just go. Oh, it's a mirror match, dude. Mirror matches are stressful. Mirror matches with this deck are genuinely not easy. Uh, I think what this means is. So what I could do is I could grab Ku Clock, then I could go Stovi, discard Gamma, activate the field spell, use the trap card, they chain Lady, I summon, I, I can pop the back row. The thing is, field spell is key in the mirror. However, if, if they have Ash, this is a completely losing play because then I'm out of gas completely. If they have Ash on Welcome Labyrinth, if I make this play, it's completely doomed, basically. Um, so another play I could make, honestly, another play I could make is I could... I could just get big Welcome Labyrinth, use Stovi Torby to set the field spell, activate the field spell, set three, and do that on the opponent's turn. I think it's a little bit safer. It's a little bit safer to do it this way around. Because then I have two Welcome Labyrinth in case something goes wrong. They have something. It's probably a furniture. Furniture plus lady, that's a problem. Big welcome too. Oh my god, come on. You can't draw that hat in the mirror match. That's not legal. That's not legal. That's not fair. Bro. They bounced back row. Why would you bounce back row? Mm, I guess they assumed it was my only labyrinth trap. Target a card your opponent controls, one card in their graveyard. Send that card on the field to the grave, and if you do... Uh, we'll see. They needed to just bounce the field spell, honestly. They really needed to bounce the field spell. Okay, they chained Welcome Labyrinth. That doesn't do a whole lot. I can now chain Terrors of the Overroot to get rid of the Lady and set the Chandelier. That's probably worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's that might be worth it. Uh, on the other hand, no, I think it's better if I wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Okay, so they summon. They summon... It doesn't really matter what they summon, because I'm probably going to pop it. This sets... Maybe I pop the back row as well, depending on what it is. But it's not going to matter this turn, right? Sanctum. That does not matter at all. Why the hell would you do that? Okay, so I will summon this... I summon this, and then I act, then I pop the back row. Wait, no, hold up. Sanctum triggers, right? Sanctum does something. Destroyed by an opponent's card. Okay, hold up. I summon this. Use the effect of Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Destroy this. 
Yeah, like that. And now we get to trigger all this stuff. We get to trigger this. We're just going to destroy in hand. Because this can't be destroyed, which we learned today the hard way. Um, destroy one in hand. Another Sanctum. Oh, come on! Uh. I can't target it, chat. I can't target it. Stop chatting. The only way I could do it is if I go Stobi Torby, discard big, big, bounce the back row, and then terrors it. I can do that. Let's do that. Now I swear to God, if you have even lived. Thank you. Woo! It, I think this deck takes a while to get the hang of it. Oh no, I was going to give them the chant earlier. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I chatted. I chatted. I think the deck is very rewarding though. Once you when once you do get the hang of it, I think it's quite cool. Ooh. A lot of labyrinth cards, that's nice going first. Does it have a chance competing with Sprite and Tear? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, Ash on Prosperity is completely fine with the Sand. I mean, the Sand's already pretty phenomenal. Uh, especially because it means that our uh, thingy will probably resolve our... You know. Let's see if Ariana resolves first. Sadly, we have no way to dodge Imperm. No Imperm. Okay. That means we go Kuklok. We activate Ku Clock. We activate Stoby Torby. They have something. A uh, big welcome. Ku Clock. It could be Max C or they could it could be a mirror match and they might be playing uh you know they might be playing special yeah they might be playing uh they might be have holding lady It could just be Max C more likely honestly
Okay, the question now is... Do I chain big welcome? And then I don't get lady set, or do I give them a, an additional draw? But I get a I get another trap card. It's a good question. Give the additional draw. Uh, I personally think it might be right to chain here. Because we have so much already. But we it's a free Eradicator. Ah, uh, let's get the Eradicator. It's a free Eradicator. Surely that's worth it. Uh, Dread Dead Zeke, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the channel. Always appreciate the first time, you know, Primes. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Trigger this. Be careful not to trigger Stovey Torby because Stovey Torby summons itself. I don't want that right now. I'm just going to add this back. There is something again. Bro. Magnamood, how broken can you draw? Are you serious? I think I'll pop Magnamood so that they don't get the free dragon search. I don't want them to get the free plus one off of Magna. I'm going to be honest with you. This is Dragon Link, right? Most likely. It's probably just Dragon Link. Uh, okay, well. End. Uh, they draw up to five... The thing is, right, the, 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 the reason why I like Labyrinth, in theory, in Master Duel, is imagine any other deck if your opponent has Ash, Maxi, Magnamood, right? And you have no answer to those. Any other deck is completely fucked, right? And this deck is just fine against it, usually. Don't 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 say eradicator. Don't say eradicator epidemic virus right now. You don't have that. You don't have that. I don't believe you. Infinite impermanence. Fine. I mean it's just to chain block. It's actually smart. It just chain blocks my my lady labyrinth. It's completely reasonable to do that. Uh yeah. I mean it is what it is. Fine. And then we get a Dark Ruler out of there, and it's Marin Cess. Okay. They have another Ash. That's so bad. We lose to that Ash. We actually lose to that Ash. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Maybe I should have started with this while this was still on the field. Maybe. Should have kept Lovely around, most likely. We'll see what happens. We don't die, but like, it's still gonna be really hard, because I think our board is gonna be gone. 
So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much their hand does because they didn't have the good starters. You know, there was no there was no blue uh, blue tang or anything like that. They they only had the sleepy maiden and the seahorse, which like the sleep. This, what is the sleepy maiden? It's like banish one from the grave to summon it from hand. That's what sleepy maiden does, right? Hold up. Related cards. Target and win says card you control. No special summon this card from your hand. Oh no, it's uh okay. Not not quite that, but So the Sleepy is just an extender. They got Battle Ocean. Anemone. Okay, they make a crystal heart. They make a crystal heart and then they make something unaffected. Bubble reef. Okay, they have an unaffected bubble reef now. Can we win this grind game? I feel like we potentially can. I don't know why they didn't make Argonaut, but I guess if they make Argonaut, I just use the, the, the big welcome before they get the attack, the, the equipments. Argonaut only negates on opponent's turn? Oh, okay. Then fair enough. Bing. They will draw one here, but we will see it at least. We will at least see the card that they draw. Uh, it's unaffected, right? So I can't ash that anyways. Yep. It's a spell. Nice. Free real estate. Uh, we probably have to just bounce with big welcome. And then Stovey comes back. Yeah. Pretty sure we got this one. I got the wrong trap. <laughs> I got the wrong trap. Mm. 
Uh, Muckraker, discard big welcome. I could also just, I could also just, um, Phoenix destroy Battle Ocean. Phoenix destroy Battle Ocean, welcome Labyrinth. Target this. And then welcome, but how does that help me? Is the field spell protected? How is the field spell protected? I am just clicking buttons right now, by the way. That's what I'm doing right now. I messed this up so bad because I searched the wrong trap card. Um... Uh, so we can Terrors of the Overroot send this to the graveyard, set cross out designator, and then we can big welcome bounce the bubble reef, right? Uh, let me just set that. You get more used to the deck, just take some time. I appreciate, I appreciate that. I mean, it's like, I, 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 of course, when I, when I play a deck that I have never played before, uh, I'm not a fan of how I play, but that is part of the journey, you know, of, of learning a deck. It's never, even for people like me, who's been, who've been like, you know, winning tournaments and such, it's always the, the process repeats itself, you know, you'll forget little interactions or you'll, you know, make mistakes. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I've never played Furniture Labyrinth. I've played the trap version at one regional, but Furniture Labyrinth, I've never really played. I've always liked the idea of it, but there's a difference between liking a deck in theory and then actually playing it, which I haven't, re I haven't done often. Or at a tournament, I've never played this thing. What are your thoughts on Labyrinth and Master Duel with most floodgates at one or zero, at uh, one or two? I think this deck doesn't need floodgates to win if you know how to play it properly, which I don't yet. But I think once you get the hang of this deck and you play it really well, it actually doesn't really need floodgates at all. I do think Furniture Labyrinth is better, and most people that don't think that it's better only don't think so because they find it harder to play. 
Which one is easier to learn? The the trap version is 100% easier to learn. A thousand percent the trap version is easier to learn. Uh, So we could grab Max C here, which doesn't seem bad, honestly. Grabbing Max C seems nice. On the other hand, uh, Ariana is also really nice. It's probably just Ariana. I think I've activated um, Gamma once, but drawn th dr drawn dri driver like three times or something. Once again, the route that I chose here is incredibly weak to Ash Blossom on the trap card, which maybe means I shouldn't have done it. Maybe that means I should not have done it. Uh, let's special it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not even going to ash that. Do I ash that for just one card? Just to get one card off of the out of the hand. I don't th I don't think that's like ashing upstart goblin. I don't like that. I don't think we need to do that. Pre-preparation of rights. Is that Dogmatica? That's a that's a good snipe either way. <laughs> no matter what deck it is, that card is good. <laughs> Alright. Pass. Is there a world where we fire this one immediately? Get lady, bounce this, trigger that. I think so. Ah, we have the we have the field spell though. Nah, let's not do it. Just turned in. How was labyrinth today? Labyrinth is fine. Labyrinth is doing okay. Uh, well, Imperm here. Okay, so be it. Neftis. You can target a level 4 Neftis in your grave, except Matriarch. Destroy one card in your hand if you do special summon. Okay. Oh, it's sprites! Neftis sprite! Based! Uh, I have a problem if they ch if they summon carrot. So I need I think I need to chain here. If they summon carrot with this instead of going blue, I I have a huge problem. So big welcome summons this. We'll return this because this can trigger. We use that to destroy this
Lovely's negated. Alright, before they summon Carrot, we need to pop off. Before they summon Carrot, we need to pop off. We set this. Uh, this goes back to hand. It doesn't, it's not really popping off because it doesn't do much, this Welcome Labyrinth. It doesn't do much. Yes, we get a trap from this one. But... It's just, I don't want them to negate. Yeah, I mean... The thing is, they were starter locked. They were already starter locked, so I don't think they could get anywhere. They couldn't Zeus the board. Okay, we're getting places, slowly but surely. We're getting better. Can you show his deck? Ah, we can look at the Labyrinth, uh, the, 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 the Nephthys, right? Whatever it's worth, there you go. That's what it is. Diviner. There you go. I don't even know if it's good. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate that. I am glad you got to pull the lab decks from your packs. Was that bait? Did you know? Did you see the new TG cards? We looked at them. Yeah, we, we saw them. The react to it is probably going to be on the plus channel. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're playing Trab Labyrinth now, boys and girls. We're the Trap Labyrinth players now. Do you set both? Or do you keep one for Furniture Discard? I could see keeping one for Furniture Discard. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure if we set both. How many Virus have we resolved so far? Two? And we've... If we've never won the game with Virus. Virus isn't even... I don't... I'm not sure if I'm using it wrong, but it's not that great in this deck. Like, the combos to get Virus aren't that good. Branded Lost. Opening hand in 60 cards. Okay. Do you have a Branded Fusion for that, too? Oh, you have a Rhino Heart. A Rhino Heart. Uh... You know what? No. Just no.
That's why I didn't use it on their attack, by the way. Uh, it could be super poly, but we don't even lose to that at this point, I think. We're locked into Fiend, that's why we can't make, um... We sadly can't make the, the, the Omega, which we do play. Uh, I think I just make Phoenix? Just Phoenix. No effect, of course. Set Eradicator, and that, and that. Is there a decent fiend synchro eight? Uh, I can't think of one right now. I don't think there is one. Well, sometimes you have games like that with the one skill drain. Sometimes you just draw it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have it. What are you going to do? Ah. All right, well. This hand is not that bad as long as they don't have Ash for the Welcome Labyrinth. Then it's okay. It's always so... Like, having this card... Like, I feel like you need to play this card because in some matchups, it's so good. But um, when you draw this card you always feel like it's so much worse if these cards get negated, right? Pearl or Rhino? No. Please don't have Ash. Please, for the love of God. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to pop that Pearl or Rhino. That Pearl or Rhino can't be here. That Pearl or Rhino can't be here. Uh, do I grab Ariana or do I grab Lady Labyrinth? I kind of like the idea of grabbing Lady Labyrinth, activating Barrier later, and just calling Fusion and getting a big welcome for next turn. I kind of like that. I can also just grab Ariana to search the lady. But then if I want to summon it, then they get two draws. That's the difference. I don't want to do that because then they draw two cards because they had maxi. If they didn't have maxi, it probably would have been good. I'm just going to summon it that way. Yes. Off that for sure. So what I'm thinking about right now is I could just D-Barrier now. I could just D-Barrier now, but what I could also do is I could let them fuse and then D-Barrier on Summon, which draws me a card off of Max C, and if they want to commit further, then they lose even harder. Uh, and also, if I D-Barrier now, they just have the level 4 on the board, so they could make like a rank 4 XYZ with... Um, hmm... But giving them kit on the field is risky. Because they might have Soliac in hand and that could be a problem. But I still think it's fine to do this.
Saliax at one. That's why I think it's maybe fine here. Oh, Royal Kit. Everyone just has that these days, huh? Everyone just has the Royal uh, Kit. Super Poly would have annihilated me, by the way. Special of Fiend from Hand or Grave. Do I summon her out right now? Doesn't really do anything this turn. Doesn't really do anything this turn if I summon her out now. They draw a card as well. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they draw a card. No, it doesn't make sense. That's annoying. That's my follow up right there. Oh, come on. That's not sub. Dude, you don't have. You didn't hard draw Saliak. Okay, now they can't target anymore. If they had Saliac, they messed up big time. Okay, gets this back. I would like to draw cards that play the game right now. That'd be kind of... Hog. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh, wait, Merly? You're not going mill five? No shot. Man, I'm drawing so bad. Rhino, Cartesia, Ash. Okay. I can chain Imperm just to get a different trap off of Lady if they don't respond. Let's do that. That does not do much. Well, it's it sends, right? That's good, but it's still I still get this. Okay, the problem is they can make Kit Kalos again. That is the bigger problem. Because they milled Rhino Heart earlier. Special Summon of Fiend... Doesn't really do anything. No.
Oh! What did they add? Havness. They added Havness. Okay. The card in hand is branded in high spirits. Problem is real close right now. Which negates my big welcome and sends Kit close to the graveyard. Uh okay, so Activate Cool Clock. Activate Store V. Discard Big Welcome? Or Big Lady? It depends so much on what they mill here. It's hard to predict what's the right thing to do. I summon this now, I guess. I'll see what Scream mills. Because I don't think I can afford to negate. I mean, I could try to activate these now and then destroy Scream with Labyrinth just so they mill less. Um, maybe that is the key, making them mill a little bit less. But if I use both of them now, I don't get to set a trap from this. No, it's not correct. Yeah, they whiffed anyways. Doesn't matter. Check W. Okay, so activate this.
that one, really? Uh, okay. Why can't you use the other effect? Because I extravagance. Uh, I extravagance earlier. That is why. Otherwise, I would have preferred that one. Oh, Kelbeck. The mill Saliak, Kelbeck, Mudora. Two Merleys. Okay, just two Merleys. Avnus is in hand now. The reason why I had to do it there, I think, is because if they now use Merley, they summon as Chainlink 2. Let's say they summon the Grapha Fusion. I can just pop it. They're probably just going to summon... Uh... Oh god, they milled Rhino Heart as well. Oh my god, it's so fucking cursed. Depends a little bit what they summon here. Yeah, Kaleido Heart. I thought so. <laughs> Popping Kaleido Heart does nothing, obviously. I think it has to be this one, honestly. It might just... Or, or the Rhino Heart. The Rhino Heart might be it. The problem is that Rule Close keeps being annoying uh it does negate the activation this one is use they're both use why are they both use oh, rule close is a big problem well it has to be rhino rule close i know rule close wouldn't come back and has used her effect already i know that i'm aware but um, if I pick Rule Close, they get the Rhino Heart effect as well. I didn't want that. Oh, it's a stressful matchup. Also, I banished my...
They just negate both my trap cards now. I don't know. It's over. Damn it, dude. Maybe it was popping Rukalos. Because they get the Grafa anyways. But that was that was fucked up. The Kelbeck mill. What's the ruling question, Skrelb? What's the ruling question? Can you still pop with the field spell if Grafa negates the trap? Uh, I don't think so. No, because it's part of it becomes part of the effect of the of the card. You can. Okay, then there was a world where that was winnable. Maybe it's still hard. But only if they misplay, actually. Looks like a mirror match. Well, we went first. That's good in the mirror. Seven cards is a problem, though. Uh, we have to try. So we have two options. We can try sniping it or we can set up Eradicator. Actually, no. Eradicator on traps is just busted, right? I just go... I just do the Eradicator thingy. Well, Eradicator would have gone hard. I don't think they have big welcome. But If the punishment goes through on the on the Ariana in the end phase and we get all of our recursion, I think there's a universe where we can win this one. Uh probably Entis. 
We could draw a card with Bucephalus Garura. But I don't think we need to draw more cards. I think we are okay. If everything goes through, right? If everything goes through, I don't think we have an issue with cards. Our so-called card economy is absolutely fine. We just need to get rid of their stuff. Uh, the question is, do I pop Big Welcome Labyrinth? Because it's not really that annoying to me right now. But I think so. It's like a... I, I know that's going to be a value hit. So let's do that. Chain Maxi to draw one card. Okay. Uh, Dead Eye Bullseye. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate that. I did not have very good pulls in this set. No, I, I pulled pretty poorly. Will we use... We probably do use one of those two. And we probably set Big Welcome. Mm. We're actually looking pretty good here, even though we got even lead on like like they they opened extravagance evenly ash for the thingy we actually are looking fine we can probably eradicate her this turn but i'm i want to go with this Another evenly. Uh, both graveyard effects. This deck's at full power now, right? It's not missing anything. No, it, it, it pretty much has everything. Yeah. It has everything. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Well, no Chaos Angel. Chaos it, it is Chaos Angel is pretty good in this deck. Yes, Chaos Angel is missing. Yeah, you could you could argue Chaos Angel is missing. Yeah, Chaos Angel is pretty good. Uh, ba -ba. let's attack. And in case there is uh, another evenly set, I suppose we just use this effect to reset a trap in main phase two, not in main phase one. And we reset. Honestly, punishment seems really nice because we have access to the welcome cards anyways. So let's just that. And let's use this one. And get another welcome trap online. I did not think we were going to win this one. To be fair, after the evenly, their hand wasn't that insane. Wait, battle phase? Uh, I'm scared now. Wait, I'm scared. Uh, what do we do? Uh, if the set is evenly, do we lose? Uh, we can go with this. Uh... 
It was just Eradicator. <laughs> I've been baited. Now, if they drew evenly, they're an evil genius. I'm telling you that much. If they drew evenly, they're an evil genius. <laughs> okay you deserve that one no that's fine yeah no, i that kudos to you that's fair yeah no that i accept that i accept that that's good that's good that's crazy well done uh all right I respect it. Yeah, we still win, but I respect that. That was Pog. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> that was cool. All right, one more, and then we have Duelist Nexus Reveals, chat. We have Duelist Nexus Reveals in 10 minutes. And it wouldn't be one last game if we didn't open... Uh... A psychic soldier that rides into battle against the security forces and currents of lightning using an autonomic amplifier called Psyframe. Uh, I will set it. I wouldn't call it a good hand. I really wouldn't, but it could be worse. I'm going to scream. Mothman. Okay. Luna. Oh, come on. You discard Luna Light perfume with that? Stop the cap, dude. Uh, is there a universe where I can do something here that's worth doing? Not yet, I don't think. Okay, discard for cost. What do you discard for cost? Don't discard Agido or Kelbeck. Okay. Does Zephyros have to bounce? No, it's cost to bounce even. I feel like ashing this is good. I feel like ashing perfume is a good move. And then maybe even punishment on the Mothman so that they can't bounce it with Zephyros. I'm kind of scared of all the stuff they can do with that. I'm ashing it and then I'll think about it. I feel like I the thing is I could big welcome summon lady bounce lady resummon lady then punishment chain lady to set another trap pop the mothman They haven't normal summoned yet at all I th I think I just have to do that And hope they can't play that well under all that.
grief. That's a good sign that they need to bounce the scream. That's good for me. That means we're not going crazy Luna Light combos anymore. Uh, Bamboo and thank you for the two months. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. That's insane. Yeah. That is probably going to be enough. You see, this is where uh, opening a three-card opening hand comes back to bite you. Because, turns out, playing with three cards against six isn't that efficient. When you draw two copies of the same once-per-turn trap card and a side frame driver, that is not very good. It is lit, it is sometimes. I don't think we could have done anything different. I think that was the correct decision to do it that way. Oh. And they're playing the most jankiest shit ever. They're playing Raid Raptors, freaking Ice Barrier Trap. The hell. Oh, come on. Why is the last game always the worst one? Why is it always the one last game that is like the most cursed out of all of them? Of the entire stream. it's It always is like that. It always is like that. No exception. Last game is always cursed game. Yeah. Just mill another perfume and a Sharon. <laughs> of course. How is... I did not deserve that! I don't deserve this! I just did not deserve all that. <laughs> Stop summoning. That's disrespectful. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Oh, that 
that is not real, dude. I will never play one more game, chat. Tell me next time, next time when I say one more game, just remind me of this one, okay? Just remind me of this game and uh, and I will know to not never play one more game again, okay? <laughs> God damn. I was like, I'm gonna just let you finish and see what you're cooking. And then they just draw a catapult turtle off of Seriuja's skull dread. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. They opened both greaves. They only played two. Oh man. <laughs> catapult turtle, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm never playing one more game again. Never. It's over. It's over. I'm I'm done. I'm done with one more game. <laughs> okay. That is uh not it yet, chat. There is more. There is more today. We're gonna wait for the duelist Nexus reveals. Where are they? They should be here in any second now. Show your deck. My deck is always on the Discord server. All you have to do is type exclamation mark Discord and you will find there's a server, uh, there's a channel called Current Deck Lists and it always has the, the most recent lists that I've been using on stream. That way people don't always have to ask when I stream. All right, it is 5 p.m. It is 5 p.m. chat. So someone hook me up with that link. Someone hit me up with that juicy reveal link for Duelist Nexus. I wonder what they're even announcing today. Which channel is it on? All the questions. I have all the questions. Will you try Trap Tricks with the new support? See, I think I would have. I, I need to check. I need to check how many of the, how many of the ultra rares I'm missing. Maybe, yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, I have acquired a link. Let me pause the music. I have acquired a link to... Duelist Nexus reveals new support cards for existing themes. Hello, Duelists. This is Tom Box, and today we're looking at Duelist Nexus. More specifically, the newer support for I'm a times 1.25 you Tom Box. I'm Each sorry. Each of these new cards aims to push the power level of their related decks to new heights. Let's Some see. by little, others right over the top to a category which we all call meta. That is up to you to decide, but we got a lot to cover, and I'd appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in Yu-Gi-Oh, as well as experience every right, aspect show me of Yu-Gi-Oh with me, Tom Box. All right, let's go. Starting with Purely. Pirellis. The first monster we're revealing here is an ultra rare. This is Epirelli Noir. Ultra rare Noir. Okay. Noir. This is a rank two, not the rank seven. And this is a generic rank two. This means this means it gets a quarter century rare. This means it gets a quarter century rare as well. Uh, it's kind of cringe, I'm gonna tell you, because the others, uh, well, actually, they are all mixed rarity, so it's fine. Bring you two level two but, monsters, yeah. so it's very much generic. Now, honestly, in terms of the functionality of honestly, monster, they could have, for, for all the purely enjoyers, you can be happy about that, because that could have been, that could have easily been a secret rare, in my opinion. That could have easily been a secret rare. It is a board breaker. During your own turn, once per turn, you can discard one card and target one card your opponent controls. Or if you have the appropriate memory attached, this one is going to require the sleepy memory, the one that allows you to draw additional cards during standby phase. This one will allow you to target two cards if you have that memory attached, and you get to return those cards to the opponent's hand. So that's a pretty big deal considering that it is targeting cards, not just monsters. So if you made the comparison between this and Obini Maru, this one probably can do a little bit more damage and give you a little bit more control at the sacrifice of a little bit of attack points. But regardless, it's still a very, very strong card. Now, like the other rank two Pirelli monsters, up to thrice per turn, when you activate a Pirelli quick play spell card, you have a quick effect where you can attach that card on the field onto <laughs> this part of the material, then you get an additional effect. It's additional so effect funny to me that it just says up to thrice per turn, you can set a purely trap from your deck. It's so funny that it just does that. It just, it just like, like it's okay, right? Is like that's you okay set a pirelli trap card straight from the deck so that can really line up for pirelli yeep or maybe this new card coming up pirelli Sherly. now this card is insane you can almost think of it as a can this card is not insane i don't think you'll play this card uh target a purely xyz you control special summon a level purely one purely from your deck negate its effect then special summon one purely xyz with the same rank but a different attribute and target monster then you can attach one card 
it's not a bad card. I don't know if you play it though. Maybe you play one just because the the noir XYZ is so insane. Maybe you play one. Yeah, actually, you Ashtira probably do. Ashtira in a trap card form for Pirelli specifically. Now, what I mean by that is what rarity is the trap? I missed that. They never actually. Very often they don't even say it. You just have to look at the card's name and you can tell from the color of the name. This this thing has white text. That means it's a common or a super rare. Uh, the the other one had golden text. That means it's an ultra rare. And then if it's like a rainbowy text, then it's a, then you know it's a secret. Target one of your Pirelli Xyz monster that you control. Special summon one level one Pirelli monster from your deck, but negate its effect. That part doesn't really matter because immediately this is going to become Xyz material. You special summon from your extra deck one Pirelli Xyz monster with the same rank but different attribute than the targeted monster. Yeah, I can By see you that playing one of that. Summon monster as material. It sucks to draw, one, but you get a free level one. What it is, what it is. You get to you know put an Xyz monster on top. But wait, there's even more. You get to attach one card from your deck to the newly Xyz summon monster as long as that card has the same name as one of the Pirelli quick play spells attached to your targeted monster. So whatever you targeted, look whatever that's under that pile of cards, and then you can take one from the deck and attach it to the new one. And for example, say you have Sleepy Memory because that's an Pirelli Noir. Well, the new monster, say you got Plump out of the extra deck, Plump gets to have the Sleepy attached under as well. And if it's before the standby phase, you get to draw one for the Noir, and then you get to draw one for the Plump because it also has a Sleepy Memory attached. Next, we're looking into Manadium. Now to start off the Manadium lineup, we have Manadium and Torrid. This is their new level 2 Fire Tuner monster. And for this monster, if you remember... Also Manadium common or unique, super rare? Manadium Fearless. Both of those monsters, they're the tuners. And whenever they're destroyed by battle, they'll summon themselves out as an additional copy so they can keep performing more and more synchro summons. However... Likely a super rare. The other, ones, uh, the other ones were super rares, right? Black names are super rares. White names are commons. Uh, no. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. All monsters have uh, black letters. It's not about that. No, have you? Are you? Super is black, common is white. Are you? Are you out of your mind? Have you ever seen a a super rare monster? They don't have white text. And can help you reach and extend your lines by quite simply summoning into any of the tuners from Manadium. So whenever this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can summon out a Manadium tuner from the deck. Now this effect is only once per turn, so it can help you get access to the ones that you don't have access to already, helping you extend your lines and giving you consistency of getting that reach. So for example, if you've destroyed the Torrid, Torrid can go into Meek, Meek can go into Meek, and therefore you get to get an additional monster. So you can keep you know a healthy amount of monsters on the field and keep your combos going. And our very first secret rare is going to be a reveal on the boss monster for Manadium. It secret is rare, silver letters means secret rare. The Visas Amritara, and that is a light level 8 warrior synchro tuner effect monster with a very interesting recipe. Let's start off with that, and then we can get into who the card could text. Have, who could have uh, guessed? The recipe requires one or more tuners plus one light monster. That light monster can be a non-tuner or a tuner. It does not specify, therefore you can use either. Think back to double X Saber Gotham's, which requires an earth tuner and just more earth monsters. So, Who calls it double X Saber? I've never heard anyone refer to them as double X Saber, except, except of X X Saber. That might be a crime, depending on which state in the U.S. you're from. I feel like that's I feel like that has to be a crime somewhere in the world just to call it double X saber. Kind of get the idea there. So regarding uh, Visa's Amitara, the light monster has to exist. If it's a non-tuner, then all your other monsters will need to be tuners. OK, so just get that one out of the way. Otherwise, it would be kind of confusing because Visa Starfrost is a level six light tuner monster. And if you can't use that, then it'd be a very strange recipe considering the theme and all. But if you were to use like uh, a Realm Heart, then your other monsters will also all need to be tuners. So yeah, a little bit confusing, a little bit different, you know, not your typical synchro summon. But on the field, this monster counts as a Visa Starfrost, and you can use each of the following effects once per turn. Now, if this card is synchro summon, you could add a spell or trap card that mentions Visa Starfrost. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. Um, thinking back to the very first plan of Rectophobia, that also mentions Visa Starfrost. Perlo Reno mentioned Visa Starfrost, and the Calarium also mentions Visa Starfrost. So you have all of the planets except for one. The one planet that it doesn't mention uh, is Ray Soth, but Ray Soth is a different story. Uh, but when it comes to like spells and trap cards think like trivi karma the trap card when it's sent to the grave it could add anything that mentions visa starfrost kind of the same deal here you can add Tri uh, tierland's uh, soliac there's a lot of powerful spells that mention its name and there's even new cards coming up for it as well so yeah there's a lot of things you can add and just a little bit of added bonus to help you push further into your synchro plays uh, you get to destroy one monster you control and then all synchro monsters you control will gain 800 attack this turn so yeah it's 
basically 33. You can really push it for sure. Next, we're looking into the new Noble Arms and Noble Knight cards. Mm -hmm. All right, let's speed things up here. We have an Ultra Rare of Angelica, the Princess of Noble Arms, a generic Synchro 5. Now, if this card is Special Summon and you're kind of just climbing the Synchro ladder here, you get to add a Horn of the Oliphant or a card that mentions the Infer Noble Knight Emperor Charles straight from the deck into your hand. Now, Horn of the Oliphant is a pretty cool card as well because you get to destroy a card on the field. It's a trap card, but as a one-up, it's not too bad, especially if you are just Synchro climbing into your actual end board this is going to be a pretty good addition especially if people run big cards like infernoble i think is a solid archetype maybe because we still have isold and it didn't do anything in the ocg really but they have maxi and that's a big deal for decks like this like this deck's just gonna get nuked by maxi so maybe maybe in the tcg it can do something i don't know yet i haven't looked into it in that much detail a little more and just turn off your entire field having that additional trap card as a line of defense will keep you alive on top of that this card is very difficult to hit with targeting based uh, card effects because if this card is at targeted or if this card is targeted for attack uh you get to run away per se you get to send one fire warrior monster from your deck to the graveyard and then you get to banish this card till the end phase then you can also bring backup which is a roland monster from the deck or extra deck so you get to summon out captain roland and therefore if you accidentally try to imperm her well, I can say it could get pretty difficult because now they're going to extend their combo even further, giving them an additional level 5 tuner. Next card, we have Noble Arms Museum. Another I'm a bit ultra. surprised that this card is only an ultra rare because this card provides you with a search of a Noble Arms card. Now, all fire warrior monster gain 500 attack. That's cool. But if you can pay 1,200 life points, sure. Bro, it's Noble Knights have like insane searching power, by the way. Isn't that crazy? They have like nine Rodas or some shit. It's a steep price. You could add one Noble Arms card. Plus Rhoda. <laughs> noble Arms cards. So it could be, well, any of the equip spells from the older generation to the Infer Noble Arms because those are technically also Noble Arms. So you can go for Durandal. So this could lead to a Fire Warrior search. It seems like there's a really decent line with that. And just to add a little bit of spice on top of that, you can target one of your Noble Knight monster cards that are currently equipped. Special summon it. Now, if you don't control Charles, though, when you do that, then you run into a little bit of a summoning restriction where you can only special summon out Warrior Monster. But if it's Charles a good card, field, that restriction does not apply. And we have a Link 1 boss monster. This is going to be Emperor Charles quite the cool. Great. Not to be mistaken with Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles, the Synchro Charles. To make it being a Link 1 boss monster, this is a transformation of that you know, Synchro Charles. As long as Synchro Charles is equipped with an equip card, you can create this Link 1 monster. And when this card is Link Summoned, you get to target the Synchro Charles in your graveyard, and it will copy its original name and gain an additional effect, which is the original effect of you know, Synchro Charles. Then you get to equip to that target this card, which is Synchro Charles is now equipped to Link Charles, and Synchro Charles <laughs> gives it 500 attack. Yep, it Charles. It's very confusing if I have to say their names constantly since both of them are technically Emperor Charles. Now, you know, once per turn, when a spell trap card is activated, uh, you get to send an equip card from your hand or face them on the field to the graveyard and negate that activation. So it's the counterpart to Immortal Phoenix Gear Feed, where that one will negate monster effects, this one will negate spells and traps. So that basically gives you cover on all bases. Really good. And just a little ruling fact here, even if the Synchro Charles that's equipped to Link Charles, if that gets destroyed, you still retain the original name and the added effect because that part already resolved. And yep. the equip only really gives it 500 attack and it's not really reliant on you know the equip to give it a name. So just don't be confused about that. Next, we have Altergeist. A new boss lady is in Ultra town. Rare at Minia. Altergeist okay. at Minia, requiring two plus Altergeist monster as the recipes. Think pretty pure within. Altergeist is my favorite combo attack. deck, guys. But this is well worth it. Altergeist is now my favorite combo deck. A lot of the resources spent simply by link summoning. You get to set an Altergeist trap directly from the deck, which means you can get protocol or other just wonderful trap cards available in this lineup, including one of the new cards. But on top of that, <laughs> during the main phase, it has a quick effect. You know, once while it's face up on the field, you get to send one card you control to the graveyard. Okay, target one effect monster your opponent control. Take control of it, and if you do, it is treated as an altergeist monster now and you don't even give it back you just keep it so setting the one card straight from the deck that's already noted one just card keep your opponent's cards card your opponent, don't give it back another card so i would say Tom box this told me definitely well worth it the new trap card altergeist revitalization essentially it is a monster reborn for the altergeist link monsters in your graveyard yeah target an altergeist link and special summon it yeah, that's it. There's no strings attached. The effects are still live. So imagine re reviving uh, the Adminia. Oh my god, that is actually really crazy. Uh, and then you can also banish this card from your graveyard and give yourself an additional Altergeist normal summon. I think that's a nice you know, additional effect here, considering that one of the biggest chokes about Altergeist is their normal summoning. If their normal summon gets kind of stunned out, you really don't have too much of an extension there unless you have multi faker to really push it forward. So having this is a really good addition. However, this card is one effect once per turn. And we're going to close up with the remaining secret rares. Ooh. Starting off, we have Dark Corridor. This oh, is oh, okay. Hold up. We're getting all the info today. Holy shit. The Dark Road spell. This card is really good, by the way. This card is, is really good for Dark World. 
Literally, add a Dark World from deck to hand, then discard a card. This card is custom. Essentially, the reinforcement of the army for Dark World cards with the added benefit of discarding a card. This would have been a dream come true. It's like, I am the Dark World fan, and I wrote up this card because it lets me add a Dark World and lets me send it to the graveyard or discard it to the graveyard right away. This is the dream card for Dark World. This is their best searcher. This is Okay, if it was actually custom, if it was actually custom, it would have had Dark World in the name, and it would not have been once per turn. Then it would have been completely custom. Better but it's still really good. Of a Dark World dealings, rather than drawing a card, discarding one, you get to search the Dark World card, and then you get to discard one. So, yeah, this card is insane for the Dark World deck. Okay, more, more. Last but not least, Slepnir, the oh, Runic Oh, no, not like this. What? I'm going to have to spend money on, on my Runic deck? Come on. This is a level 9 fusion. On mod. the other hand, this is going to look sick. This is going to look sick. That, that's, I can imagine that being a very pretty secret rare. I like that. Which requires two or more runic monsters. I'm just kidding. You're probably just going to straight up summon this with a runic quick play spell. And the key difference here is it basically turns any of your runic quick play spells into a form of monster removal. Because during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls and banish both that monster and this card till the end phase. So essentially, you're just able to just clear out any monster. You can use a golden droplet to summon out this card. It makes it so that all your cards are always live, especially when you have a runic fountain live. Yeah, this is not to be underestimated, and you can return it back onto the field. And if a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, you get the special summon a runic token, which has 1515 in attack position. I don't know what's the application of that, but perhaps if you're playing some sort of synchro based deck, that's going to provide you with additional levels for you to manipulate as resources. So this card is not to be underestimated. And if you're playing a deck that goes into rank nine, playing a runic engine now gives you access to just a free rank nine monster. So yeah, let's not underestimate how strong this is, considering that the only restriction under this entire archetype or this theme is Wait, that, is that all? you're going to oh, that's all. use your battle phase. And that's all I got. I thought when he said remaining secret rares, he thought he was going to say, I thought he was going to say all the secret rares that are still left in the set. Okay, well, um, interesting. Interesting. I mean, we knew about all of those cards. We knew all of those cards were going to be in there. There's no incredible news here of like, oh, we're getting that card. It was mostly about the rarities. Uh, seems okay to me. I mean, the Noble Knights all ultra rare is fair enough. I think they're going to be, I don't think they're going to be high value ultras, but some people are going to want them. So they're not going to be worthless. I don't think the same is true for the Manadium cards. Um, they are solid cards, right? Especially the secret rare is like, it's not going to be the most thought after the secret, idea. the Visas Armi Amritara, but you're going to, you're going to get something for it. It's like, it's not bad. It's not bad. And then, uh, yeah, we have the, this one is an ultra rare, which is a good pull, I think. I think it's going to be a, a decent ultra rare. And then we have two good secret rares, honestly, here. Um, two good secret rares in these ones. Okay. Rakea, thank you for the last minute subscription. Uh, appreciate the support. Welcome back to month number two. Appreciate you a ton. All right, everybody. That is going to be it for today. Uh... Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. As always, it means a lot to me that we've been able to keep up these insane viewer numbers recently. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'm going to send you guys over to my man Farfa. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Uh, also, I'm posting a YouTube video in like 20 minutes or something. Or like maybe even 5 minutes. So it's uh, exclamation mark YouTube if you're not... Uh, Subscribe to the YouTube channel yet. Do me that favor. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And bye-bye. Peace. The raid work? I think it did.